Hello everyone and welcome to Friday. Welcome to Valentine's Day. I talked a little bit about it last night, but we weren't going to do anything particularly special, but now it looks like what you've made is pretty... You see what I made? Amazing. Okay, I told you guys the other day about our little chart where we're gonna you know, write down the food that we plan on eating during the next week. Well, tonight was shrimp. Just shrimp. So I wasn't expecting anything fancy, but Mouse actually went above and beyond and made a really amazing looking dinner. We got cilantro lime shrimp, which is awesome. You guys remember the fit I was having with uh, lime shrimp, so I'm glad that's back. And then we've got jasmine rice. Mal put some um, fresh mushrooms in Normally there. I use canned for that. So I used you went to the store and like bought stuff. I bought mushrooms and cilantro and what's in that back one? Is that broccoli? That's fresh broccoli. Wow. Dang, Mal. You did have... Man, this is... Wow. You had all this in mind before you even got home. Yeah. I didn't know that you were... And this is almost a risotto, stuff. but I don't have risotto rice. Okay. Hmm. Well, this is, uh, this is a special dinner. I'm freaking excited. Um, first off, I guess... Hello, everyone. I hope your Valentine's Day was, uh, good. Uh, mine's been pretty good. Uh... I actually have not yet sat down to play um, the Last of Us Left Behind DLC. I got it this morning, but I actually didn't have the game. I had lent the game to Jarrett a while back, and Jarrett had the game, so I had to get the game from Jarrett. So I actually haven't played it today, um, but after dinner I'm going to be diving into it, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. From what I've read online, it's very short. Um, I, apparently it's like two to three hours, maybe closer to two hours, so it's very short but apparently it's very good. Which, I mean, it's coming from Naughty Dog, so I would expect nothing less. So I'm, I'm actually really, really pumped to jump into it. And I have announced on Twitter um, that I'm doing it. I, have, I had it on the calendar, but a lot of, I don't think a lot of people read the calendar, which is sad. People don't look at the schedule. But I announced it on Twitter and a lot of people seem excited. So I'm gonna be jumping into it uh, right after dinner. And is dinner ready? Yep. I am so freaking pumped. I've tried everything on the plate. Every single thing is amazing. Mal, wonderful job. Thank you. That is awesome. So awesome. The shrimp in particular is really good, but everything is absolutely amazing. It's also really interesting the difference that fresh broccoli can make. Isn't it? It really is. It's pretty cheap, too. Yeah. It's just, the. I mean, the downside is you got to pick it up the day of, um, but if you can do that, fresh broccoli is really amazing. My mom only cooks with fresh broccoli. We usually use frozen, but... If you have the time and can, you know, go get it. Actually, it took less time than the person. Well, time to go buy it uh -huh. since you need it the day of. But yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. Man, it's awesome. It's been several hours and I've had a chance to actually uh, start Left Behind. Um, apparently, it's not a very long DLC pack, but uh, I still didn't get a chance to play all of it tonight. I'll, I'll finish it tomorrow. Um, but I got a chance to play through the first at two episodes, so like the first 45 minutes, and uh, it's good. I mean, it's just as engaging as Last of Us was, and it's it really pulls you in. And they did it a little differently than I thought they were going to, I guess, just for the fact that everything I had read about the DLC pack online really pushed this whole prequel thing, and I thought it was going to be a prequel. And this, but it's, uh, it's continually jumping back, uh, back and forth between a prequel event and then also a side event of what was going on during the events of The Last of Us. So I won't talk any more about it because I don't want to feel like I'm spoiling anything. But by the time you guys get this vlog, that's out. You can go check it out. Um, once again, it spoils it spoils The Last of Us, so you have to watch The Last of Us first. But then jump into uh, Left Behind. It's really cool. Anyway, to finish off our Valentine's Day, my mother, um, who in addition to giving us a wonderful little bag of chocolates also created something and she gave it to us today she made chocolate covered strawberries she actually made a bunch of them uh, we're not eating two tonight because otherwise we'd well I guess we wouldn't get fat the strawberries are good for you except for the incredible amount of chocolate on the outside but um she made quite a few of them she made some I think for the neighbors and stuff she ended she ended up making quite a, a huge batch but we're gonna finish off the day with these and they look good and actually I was at the store today and uh at the grocery store and they were selling the same same thing dipped in you know milk chocolate and had the white chocolate on it and i was blown away by how much they charge for that stuff it's ridiculous like 
I'm really glad that mom makes them because if you ever wanted to buy these, they're ridiculously expensive. And they're not that expensive to make. So, anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope your Valentine's Day was great. And let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? But this one we like. The only problem I have with the stupid box, and maybe this, I guess, would be a problem with all litter boxes, but this one in particular. Hello? I'm sorry, but you'll have to go to the back of the line. The back of the line? Oh, no. No! <laughs> I'm going postal! I don't want to go to the back of the line. I can't afford to wait. I got a lot of things to do. I got a whole week ahead of me, and I got a bunch of stuff I got to accomplish. Do you think I got time to do all this crap?